Hey everyone, my name is Sean Arnold and welcome to another episode of MGS5 Side Ops. This is a series where I just play through a side up of the game, the uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, and just discuss any topics which come to my mind as I do it. Or sometimes I just do gameplay commentary on what I'm doing here. Today's side up is to eliminate a heavy infantry unit and I've been looking forward to doing this one because um, I tried doing this once off camera and uh, those guys wiped me out. Um, I think I was just playing really, really bad at the time, but um, no, they managed to get a jump on me. So I'm looking forward to having a little bit of revenge on these guys. Um, what I wanted to talk about today, um, not really much to say, but just wanted to discuss. I wanted to ask, to you, the viewer at home, how important is a story to you in a video game? For me, um, compared to any other medium, I prefer my stories being told through an interactive medium like video games I think it makes it more personal when you can kind of um, have some kind of involvement in developing the story or an experience in it or having some kind of impact on it in any way and the reason why I ask this is because the previous Metal Gear Solid games well the whole entire Metal Gear Solid franchise is very very much well known for its um, very well written story I'm gonna say some of the some of the parts of the stories are a bit crazy. It can be a bit um, towards the fantasy side for things, even though it tries to set itself in a real world setting. However, um, I think a lot of people appreciate the story of Metal Gear. However, it was recently when I was listening to a podcast where um, some gentlemen who are, whose opinions I really respect, who are also huge fans of the Metal Gear franchise, were discussing their opinions on the story of this game. For me, someone over there. I wonder if that's one of our targets. Let's have a look. And um, they all had mixed, mixed opinions. Um, one of them was like they really, really liked the story and was trying to encourage the others. No, that's, these, these aren't our targets. I might come back for these later because some of them have really good skills like this one here. I'm going to mark him. And I'm going to mark him. But these are not our targets for sure. Alright, they must be somewhere else. Um, yeah, one of them was saying, oh, it's, um, the story is kind of good, um, it really um, builds up towards the latter half of the game, and um, he ranks it quite highly on it, um, in terms of comparing, when he compares it to the other Metal Gears, he um, thinks it's quite good. However, some of them felt like the, um, the way the story was presented in this game was um, a lot harder to get into, and that they preferred the older format of, sorry, my laptop's just restarting. They preferred the older format of having a very linear story which um, was very, very detailed and that forced you to listen to the narrative and pay attention to the narrative. In case you're not aware, with Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, um, this game is made up into missions. You pick a mission, you go off and do the mission, and sometimes there's stories to go with it. You can listen to tapes, like that, and... Um, and you get bits of the story as you play through the missions. It emulates or kind of matches the format that they, the game had in... By the way, let me just check where I am. I am out of the area. It's all the way over here. Okay, I'm going to cross over to the other side. It kind of uh, matches how this game um, approached in its portable version in Metal Gear, Solid 5, um, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. In MGS Peace Walker, the game was presented in a mission format like this. Because the, um, the idea was that you are playing on a portable um, platform, therefore you don't necessarily have the time to sit down and play for hours and hours. So you kind of got the story in chunks, so that you can just play a little bit, stop playing, and then carry on. And that's kind of how this game is. Um, you can play it for hours if you so choose to, or you could just play it for a little while. And they've just spotted me. Wow, that was kind of quick. Let me walk away from here. I just wondered um, what other people may be thinking. You might not, if you're watching this video, you might not necessarily know Metal Gear very well. You might not be familiar with the approaches of the story and whatnot. But just in general, is having a linear story really important to you? Is that something you prefer for video games? Do you, um, I know there are many different types of video games, so it de definitely um, can be situational. But where, oh, okay, crap. That's bad. They might, they might see me. Gotta stay silent. 
but they shouldn't see me if I crouch down like this. Hopefully not. Yeah, these guys, they're pretty strong. Alright, so let me focus on what's going on here for the time being. There should be more of these guys up here somewhere, but they don't seem to be close by or at least close enough for Didi to mark them. Let's see what their skills are like. He's an A plus in two areas. He's an A plus plus. I definitely want to take these. They are wearing some serious armor. Not how can I get rid of these guys? I think I'm gonna use DD to help me this time. I've upgraded DD. He's wearing some new clothes, as you can see, and uh, I'm gonna get him to try something for me. I'm gonna get him to do a knockout attack. attack. Go boy! Right. Let's see if I can get to this guy quick enough while DD deals with that one. Is that quick enough? That was wicked. Good boy. There's the pet sign. I love DD in this game. He is one of the best companions. One of the best dog companions of all time. I'm looking forward to Fallout 4. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to Fallout 4 as well. Because um, I'm definitely going to be getting my hands on it. But um, I use I really liked dog me in Fallout 3. But... Um, I think DD has taken my number one spot on favorite buddy to bring on a mission now. Because he's just so good. He he is amazing. He does so much work for you. He just sh shows you where the enemies are and um, he can knock them out for you as well. You can also kill them, but we're not going to have him do that. There's no need to kill. Analysis. Right, these guys are really good too. Analysis. Right, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with a sniper rifle here. Their armor's pretty thick. Maybe, I wish I had a better scope on this sniper. Alright, let's go a little bit closer. Go DD, go good, go DD, go DD, go. Which one are you going to get, boy? He's going to go for that one. Oh no, no I picked up the wrong one. Wow, Didi, you did both? You are amazing. That looks dodgy. Right, there should be more. There should be two more. And there they are. I can see them. Right, one of them is pretty weak, so I'm going to kill him. Let me see. Can I try something else this time? Let's try using a decoy. No, not a mine. What am I doing? Decoy. Right. I want to see if I can knock them out. I might not be able to. They're not wearing gas masks, but their helmets might have some protection for them. Right, I don't think they're going to get close to him. They're probably going to shoot the decoy. So, alright, let me see if I can throw this out here. Did they get him? No, they're too fast. That's it, good boy, good boy. Did he go get him? Look at him go, look at him go. Did he, you are the best. Alright, so this one's coming with me. This one, I'm afraid, not so much. I don't normally like killing, but. I can't take him back to base with me because he's not so good, so I have to take him out. And there goes the side up. So guys, thank you for watching me play MGS5 as always. Hopefully you're still enjoying the series. Hopefully you still want to see more. If so, do let me know down below in the comments. And um, if you have any feedback or suggestions, just let me know and um, I will try to respond to keep things as entertaining as possible for you. 
Hopefully also you're looking forward to Metal Gear Online. I am getting ready for that game. I'm going to try and beat this game before Metal Gear Online comes out so that I am ready and I won't be spoiled on any um, crazy concepts when I get to play in the online mode of this game. So, thank you for watching as always. Much love, take care and goodbye.